Welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and today I'm here with you for another a yarn talk video. And as always, we can't talk yarn without my faithful tea, which today is my favorite morning blend. And the morning blend is a herbal tea containing of um, citrus, uh, vinebra, um, fennecal, um, lemongrass and some mint. So it's it's just a nice fresh herbal brand for, for a morning like this. And this morning is an absolutely beautiful spring morning. The sun is shining outside and when I'm just looking here out of the window, I don't see a single cloud on the sky. Also, my narcissists are in the bloom outside. And yeah, it's really starting to be a really great, nice spring weather. It is a little bit chilly because it has been freezing last night here. Um, but but generally, it's clear skies. It's starting to 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 sum up nicely, and and that's yeah, that's nice. So we of course need to talk a bit about yarns, and we need to talk about progress of my three current projects. We also need to talk about what's going to happen this week and the coming weeks to come. So there are plenty of things going on on this channel. But let's start with the more interesting parts for you guys. That would be the yarns. And currently um, the progress that I'm making on my uh, zigzag scarf is visible. Uh, though I have been thinking about changing how I measure the progress a bit. Um, by adding a stitch marker from like last week's yarn talk video, so it's more visible for you guys to see. But the zigzag scarf is now as long as when I hold it up in full, I can barely not have it here on the screen. So that's nice. And I can also like feel when I'm working on it that it is slower, so it takes more space, so to say, to, to be able to, to work on it. And you, what you can also see is the very nice ombre effect of the yarn. Let's see if I can hold it up a bit like this. You can really easily see how it goes more and more dark. Um, I did ask my partner yesterday, even though I say this is blue, he was like, no, it's not blue, it's like green. And I'm like, no, honey, it's not green. Then he's like, okay, it's half blue, half green. And I think we settled on it's probably turquoise. Um, but I don't know what, what color you would call this. Um, it could be turquoise, but I would say, I would personally say it's light blue, um, but it might be considered turquoise. Um, the yarn I am using for this lovely um, zigzag scarf is the Elise um, Angora Gold Yarn in the Umbro, uh, Umbro Effect. Um, and it's um, containing of 20% uh, wool and 8% acrylics. It's 150 gram skein, and I do believe it's, yeah, it's 825 meters long. This is currently what's left. So as you can see, I still have some to go. Um, and I will just keep crocheting back and forth until I basically don't have enough yarn to finish the last row, and that will be the last row. Um, but, but yeah, this yarn comes in, in many colors as they have examples of shirts and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like it. Um, the Ali Shine is made in Turkey, uh, so it's a Turkish brand. Um, and uh, yeah, there's not much more to say about that, except yeah, I'm keeping cr crocheting. Um, the goal is, as always, to add at least two rows a day. Um, but how much is two rows? Two rows is like this, which is not much. Um, I do um, crochet when I have a few moments for it, um, but this is this is the the project here is quite easy um, because it's the same constant repeating pattern. I don't really need to think about it. So it's a project I can do when I'm watching TV. It's a project I can do when I have a few moments and I don't need to remember or keep track where I ended or stopped. Um, so what I thought is basically I will insert a stitch marker. So when I today, because today of course is Monday and it's the start of the week, will start on my two rows for this for the day, the minimum two rows. It could be more than two rows, of course, um, but the minimum of two rows. I will insert a stitch marker here that will 
kind of be our measuring point for the next week so we can actually have a, a more physical idea of the progress I make weekly on this project. Um, I think I'm probably a little bit less than halfway. So I might be concerned of the final length of the scuff, but we will see. Um, it is a fine yarn um, and I'm using my prim hook, crochet hook, three millimeters. Um, I also use this hook for crocheting socks, but it's absolutely perfect for this yarn. It just slides in and takes the stitches and yeah, it's, I would recommend certainly prim hooks for, for if you have more woolen yarn types. Um, but that's the progress being made of um, the zigzag scarf. I haven't really decided if I'm going to insert the metal stick, stitch markers here or a plastic one. I might choose for a metal one again because it is um, finer stitches and I don't really want to have a, a thicker stitch marker kind of wooing it up. So I'm probably optioning for a metal one for there. Um, yes. Next to that, we have, of course, um, the baby blanket I'm working on in this show stitch. And last week I hadn't made much because, yeah, I had to flock the work because I had forgotten to insert um, the V stitch, the corner V stitches in the corners. I just had done regular V stitches. And of course, then I wouldn't be able to um, do the actual physical colors. Um, I'm about halfway through maybe a bit more halfway through than the first skein which i have here it's a beautiful lovely ice yarn that i'm using for it and this is the size we are at um i would estimate it's a, probably about 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep working on this until um this gain is fully fully uh, worked into it um, and then I will assess how big it is and I will consider if that's the time when I want to add. Um, I have this pink also in the same type of yarn. Um, I want to add like um, a two or three rows of kind of like pink border before I add the last few white rows. Um, but of course, I would like this blanket to be at least like a meter by a meter in size, maybe more. Um, and I do have I do have enough yarn for it because I have I have three more of these skeins at least um i'll have two pink skeins uh baby pink um what i like about this yarn is this it has this light speckle like effect and it is 100 percent acrylic it's from ice um it was one of the sales yarns so it doesn't really have a name that you can look up and purchase more packs from that's kind of sad um but what's nice is it's quite soft from an acrylic yarn so I think it's going to be absolutely nice for um, a baby or a toddler to snuggle in. Um, so that's just for... It's always good to have your baby blankets on stock. If you have friends uh, getting babies, you can give them away or what or not. Um, so yeah, that's a concept I do not like. Um, I am not completely finished because the green is my start of the round. And um, yellow is where I'm currently at. It's just to hold my stitch. Um, but I think the same applies here that I will start inserting a stitch marker um, from where I were the previous week um, so we can easily follow so so we can get a better grasp of the process that I actually make on these projects. Um, I get that in the beginning of a project it's easy to see progress right like if you start just with a chain Hooray, next week there are stitches in it. It's very easy to see progress, but eventually you just get to a place where progress is not as easy to see. And then, of course, I have the challenge that I work on so many projects at the same time, um, but I do enjoy having th several things to do um, that I need to pay attention um, to, to where I am. And I, it's, I like the thing of being able to easier measure it. Um, there are people out there that's also um, measuring their progress by month by how much yarn they spend. Um, I would probably not as quickly do that because I would probably get disappointed um, as I use some of the lighter yarns and therefore I would by far not be able to do the same amount of work and I'm a bit of a competitive type. Um, so I should rather focus on, on what's more realistic for me always set goals that's realistic and that's achievable it gives you much more fulfillment of success trust me 
speaking from a past career um but um but yeah also i need to think about some people out there um have lots of spare time to do this we are some that do have to work full time i have a full time job next to doing this um so i work 40 hours a week i also have private life next to crocheting um some sports that i'm doing and other stuff that I enjoy it and that needs to be time for her. So, you know, it's just a side hustle. I'm, I'm, a, I'm cool with that. I'm absolutely cool with that. Um, it's just sometimes time gets more limited. And of course, we had a sort of minor leak this weekend. So I actually think I managed to do a lot because um, I spent half my weekend trying to dry up my attic after um, a water leak um, which is actually more like a drainage that's clogged and we're trying to unclog it and that's not progressing as well um, but it does mean that yeah the Dutch people are crazy um, here in the Netherlands it's very common to have your laundry machine and um, drying machine um, on the attic um, I do assume it has to do with basements aren't really a thing here um, due to the high ground level of water or high level of ground water so to say um, and yeah, the drainage from the laundry machine was basically sort of clogged and that flew, filled, filled over. Um, and all the water on the attic has kind of bit sinked through the ceiling and my guest room was somewhat wet. And the guest room is also where I do have some of my yarns. Um, so I kind of had to, none of my yarn got wet. Hey, phew. Um, but it was really, yeah, it's been a crazy weekend and we're still struggling a bit with getting it solved. Um, so this week might be busy as well. But the last project that I'm working on is the Leaf on Me West, where I'm currently working on the back panel, which would be the first panel that I'm working on. And I've added um, two more full repeats. And the two more full repeats is 12 rows, I think, if I remember right. 12 or 6. Just a moment. I have the pattern here. Two five i lie that's five rows yeah that's five rows so i added 10 rows in total um and that's what we're currently looking like and now you can really see how the leaves are starting to form here um and this vest is slightly intended to be slightly oversized i'm working on this in a large size because i need to make sure that my bum can stay in it um, and it is um, a sleeveless vest, so it's just basically a, a general vest. And I'm working with it in this um, solid twisted yarn from Hobby. Um, and it's 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. It's the Twister Solids. It's the colorway um, 107, which is called, I think it's called teal, if I'm not wrong. Um, each cake is 100 grams and gives 400 meters of a yarn. I have four cakes of these, so I have 1600 meters of yarn and hopefully those 1600 meters is more than enough to finish my west. Um, and if not, I will have to buy some additional. Um, I am using also actually my print hooks for this project, my three and a half meter, millimeter print hook, which I have here. And uh, it's working really, really nice with this twister yarn. and. If you're following me for a while, you'll start, slowly start to realize that I actually do enjoy my prim hooks. Um, and I do believe I promised a review of them, so I will absolutely look into doing it sometime in the spring. I really need to do that. Um, I do find that when you use prim hooks for um, full acrylic yarns, that they tend to squeak a bit. Also with cottons, um, it's not as bad for this twister yarn. Um, you don't hear them squeak at all when you work with wool so it is but they also um like prim say they are for wool so i guess there's a reason for it um but yeah so this is basically a five for a repeat and you keep going it and you keep all these getting these lovely lovely leaf leaf patterns which is so it is a bit of a, a filet kind of uh, way of doing it because this is basically just Either chains or double crochets all the way through. 
Um, so you keep double crocheting or chaining. Some of them, some of the double crochet could be two double crochets in the same stitch, or it could be two double crochets together or four double crochets together. I don't recall if I have anywhere with just three together, but I have many places. So like you do several double crochets in the same stitch, or you double crochet several stitches together in just one stitch, depending on where you are in the pattern. Um, it is a, it's, it's like when you are into the the mode and flow, it is an easy pattern to follow. I think um, the pattern I link to down in the description box below, where you can also um, find it, and in the pattern you also have the graph pattern for those that's liking the infographs on how the stitches are. If you can read those. Um, I like a combination when I do read patterns. That's just how I am. So um, that was about the current giant projects going on. Um, next week, so not next week, this week. So what else is going to happen here on the channel? And you know this because, of course, you are watching this video in the full and you are supporting me is the fact that um, on Thursday, we draw the prize of my sock yarn a giveaway. I have a good, nice sock yarn giveaway with plenty of sock yarns containing. There is at least four colors and plenty of skeins to make lots of lovely socks. I will link to that giveaway also down in the description box below. If you haven't entered yet and are interested in sock yarns, I really warmly recommend you to enter because it is open worldwide. So you have your chance of winning some free sock yarns from a different yarn brands. Um, that's on Thursday. On Friday, so on Thursday, I draw the winner, of course. Very important. Make sure you end up before 8.30 a.m. Um, Central European time um, on Thursday. So that would be like Wednesday evening if you're in America. Um, quite late or in the middle of the night. Um, yes. Also, on Friday, um, we have a new yarn haul coming up on this channel, and this yarn haul will be from Ice Yarns. I warmly recommend you to watch it. Um, I have already recorded it, and um, yeah, stay tuned. It's an amazing haul. There's some absolutely lovely yarns in there, and yeah, I can't wait at least. Um, and then we bring it up the fact that this weekend coming up is Easter. This means that, at least here in Europe, Europe, it's Easter, and if you are the Protestant way of religion, um, I believe it's this weekend. But the Orthodox um, Catholics are like next weekend, and oh, Easter is is a is a crazy period in many aspects. Um, for us, it's Easter. That's mean that Easter Monday, I will have other plans, so you will not be getting a yarn talk video Easter Monday. Um, I will see if I can figure out some small video instead for you guys. And then I will do my yarn talk next week on Tuesday, just so that you know and you don't get worried. It's not that I will be completely disappeared. I will be there Tuesday morning with my regular um, weekly updates. Um, because, of course, I get to, to have some Easter time as well with my um, friends and family, and my partner, um, as I don't have to work Easter Monday either. So it, for me, it's just the time um, where I get to do other things. Um, I think that was pretty much summing up everything that's been happening the past week, which has been a lot. Um, and there is plenty of more things to come up. Um, so yeah, um, therefore, if you haven't done it yet, do please subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you for the watch. Um, make sure you're notified by hitting that little bell to have your notifications turned on so that you get notified when I do release new videos. Um, yeah, I will see you on Thursday for the drawing of the giveaway winner. So if you haven't entered that one or just watched the video, find the link below. Make it a watch. If you like the prizes and you haven't entered, I recommend you to enter because who knows, maybe the winner could be you. Take care and we'll see each other on Thursday. Be safe. Happy crocheting. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.